Now we're going to take a look at how we can connect the iPad with the microbit, or for that matter, any other mobile device with the microbit. And there's some things we need to check up on before we get started. Mm -hmm. First one is that uh, we're not going to use any USB cable this time, so the microbit doesn't get any power in this way. So instead, we'll be using a battery pack. And on the iPad, there's some things we need to do as well, just to get started. And the first thing we need to do is that we need to check up how it is with our Bluetooth connection. So I go into Bluetooth and just check that Bluetooth is on. The next thing we do is to download the Microbit app from the App Store. And it's a green icon, and you find it if you search for Microbit, basically. And there's a BBC logo on it. So once that's downloaded, we open that app. And inside of this app, we see a bunch of buttons. And the first one is Connections, which is the one we use in order to connect the Microbit to the iPad. So Nils, you put the um, yeah. battery pack into the Microbit. And I press Connections. And here we get the instruction how to pair a new Microbit. So we press the yellow button. And now we get the instructions to hold the A and B button and press and release Reset. So let's go ahead and do that. We hold down the buttons and hold down Reset also. And then we see pairing mode on the screen. There we go. There we go. So I press Next. And now we get the instruction to enter the pattern that we find on the microbit into the iPad. So we follow the instruction on the microbit. And we press Next. So now we get this instruction to, when we have pressed Next, to press the A button on the microbit. On the microbit and get further instructions. And this is a bit tricky, because what we've noticed is that this process goes quite fast. So we will get a bunch of numbers on the microbit, and we are to put them into the iPad uh, in a certain time frame mm -hmm. in order to make this work. So we need to. Uh, it works very good if you're two persons, or one person reads out the numbers, and the other one types them in. Otherwise, you could maybe have a piece of paper and a pen, write down the numbers before you put them into the iPad. So mm -hmm. then I press Next. Now we wait one second for this part to be done. Now we see a little arrow on the microbit, meaning we press on the A, and we get 4, 1, 2, 5, 0, 7. Yeah, and then the number repeats. I think this should work. Let's see. Yeah, so Very we have a successful, and we get a check mark. So I press OK. And I press reset on the microbit. And now we are good to start coding. Mm -hmm. So I press to go home and to create code. Mm -hmm. And when you press this button, what the app actually does is it opens your browser uh, on the iPad. And it shows you the official microbit web page with their four editors. But if you want to use any other editor, you can just go to another website and use that one instead. Yeah, so all editors work. And the one we've been using is the code the microbit.com. So we use that now as well. And the uh, uh, user interface appears for, for, the, uh, for the editor. It looks a bit different on the iPad. Uh, it's uh, got this uh, vertical uh, layout. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the uh, simulator down here to the left. So should we get started doing yeah. some code? So let's make a name badge. Yeah. So, so we need a basic and let's see, show, show string. string. There you go. And then we want to change the text. From hello to my name. OK. There we go. And, there we go. and because we want to see this, uh, your name all the time, we also take in the forever loop. Take and drag and drop in a forever loop. There we go. Oh. So now we need to download the code from the web page to the iPad so that we can upload 
the code from the mm -hmm. iPad to the microbit. Exactly. And to do this, we first press the blue download button. Now your browser will start downloading the file that we need. This might take a second, so you have to have some patience here. There we go. And now I see that I can open uh, this file that we just downloaded from the internet to the iPad in the Microbit app. Mm -hmm. So I press there. And the app opens. And here we get a new instruction. And the instruction here is to flash the Microbit uh, with the code from the iPad. Here we found that it's not possible just to press the flash button and have that work. In order for this process to work, the micro bit needs to be in pairing mode. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to press the A and B buttons, hold them down, and press the reset button as well. And then we get pairing mode on the screen. So then after that, I press the flash button. Yeah. And they are connecting to each other. And now the file will be transferred to your micro bit. And because this goes, goes over Bluetooth instead of a cable, it goes a bit slower. Yeah, so if you've been working with a micro bit on a computer using the USB cable, that is a process that goes much faster than the process of using Bluetooth. And it could also be the case that this process is something that you have to do a couple of times. Uh, things might happen with the connection or other, other situations might occur, which means that you have to have a bit of patience when working with the Bluetooth uh, in, this, in this way. But now we soon see the uh, code being uploaded to the micro bit. And we should see the code start. Yeah, there we have it. We have a name badge with my name scrolling on the micro bit. So in this way, we've learned how to connect the iPad to the micro bit and also how to create code on the iPad and flash it to the micro bit.